The finishing touches to Broken Throne Brewing's Great Hall are nearly complete. Formerly known as the Blue Raven, the location will bring new food and entertainment to downtown Pikeville. Thursday, we spoke with General Manager Jamie Sloan about the Great Hall. We are um, opening a second location um, in the building that Blue Raven used to be in. It's 211 Main Street. We're still going to have our tap room open uh, down the road. We're going to be doing a, a little something different here. We have a, a stage that we've built. We've completely renovated the space. We're going to be having like music and events, you know, just trying to add a little bit to the life that's coming back in downtown. Since Broken Throne's original opening in 2019, Sloan says the group passed their space and needed a new location to brew beer. Along with beer, Sloan adds they'll be serving pizza by the slice as well. And we may have some more uh, menu options that we add eventually, but for right now that's kind of what we're going to focus on is just doing the, the beer and pizza. For the beer, we have uh, these taps behind me, so we'll have eight beers on tap normally. We have a few more taps on the other side, so um, up to 12 beers at a time, uh, depending on you know what guest taps and things like that we might have. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. Past times, the Great Hall will include our ping pong, pool, and music. Entertainment is something that um, Eastern Kentucky as a whole has lacked for many years, um, and it's definitely coming back in a big way, not just with us, but with several other businesses, not just in Pikeville, but um, Paintsville, Whitesburg, that sort of thing. Having something for, for people to do in their free time is so important. Um, and of course, live music is what I want to do in my free time, so it makes me excited to be able to offer that. You can catch the soft opening Friday, October 29th. Doors open at 5 with music by Nick Jamerson at 8 p.m. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.